In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of visualizing and analyzing your Facebook data in much more detail than what's available in the standard Facebook Insights interface. Facebook allows you to export an extremely rich data set for your Facebook pages, but it can be difficult to make sense of it all in Excel. Let's start by getting the data. Here I am on Tableau's Facebook page, where I'm an admin. I'm going to download the data I need. I'm going to do this by going into the Insights panel, clicking See All, and then up here, I'm going to click on Export Data. Now, Facebook gives me a few options for what kind of data I want to export. For this example, I'm going to export post-level data in Excel format, and I want to see the data just for the month of June. So we'll go ahead and download that data. We'll open the file. And as you can see, Facebook provides you with a ton of data you can't get through the standard Insights interface. We could use many different tools to analyze this data, but I'm going to use Tableau because it's a simple drag and drop visual interface. We're not gonna work with all these sheets here. We're just gonna work with key metrics today, uh, but it's certainly worth exploring the rest of them on your own time. And it's easy to join these sheets in Tableau later. We just have to do one thing uh, to get this data ready for Tableau, and that is just to delete this line right here. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's saved as an Excel file. Call it my Facebook data. Now we're going to connect the data in Tableau Desktop. Even if you've never used Tableau before, you should be able to follow along fine. If you want to try this with your own data, you can download a free Tableau trial at tableausoftware.com and check out the free training videos on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my data. It's in Excel. And I remember where I stored it. And for now, we're just going to connect to this key metrics table, like I said. Um, it'll be easy to join some of the other tables with this data later if you want to explore uh, some of the other kinds of data provided. So I'll just click OK. And I'm going to connect live. Now, the first question I have is how many engaged users I had uh, across the month of June. So I'm going to go ahead and look at day posted. And I'll tell Tableau I want to look at a continuous view of the day. And then I want to look at lifetime engaged users across that span of time. So this gives me a really interesting timeline. Um, I can kind of see over the course of this month uh, which days had the most engaged users, which is really interesting. Uh, but I'm also interested in viral reach. I'd like to see that displayed on the same workbook. So I'm going to go ahead and find lifetime post viral reach. I'm going to put that on size. So I can see right away that somewhere around June 5th, we had a series of posts that had a lot of engaged users and a high viral reach. Um, and then we have these points here and here that also had a number of engaged users, but not as much viral reach. Um, so I'd like to know a little bit more about how that happened. So I'll go ahead and name this sheet Engaged Users Timeline. And I'm going to go ahead and create another sheet to try and get a little bit more detail about what was happening there. Um, and we'll soon link these two sheets together in a dashboard, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so I'm going to make here kind of a cross tab of uh, information about the specific post driving this behavior. Um, I want to look at the day posted. 
and I want that to be discrete, not continuous. So I have an actual day here. Um, and I could also look at this by hour or uh, even by minute, but I'm going to look at it by day here. Uh, I want to know exactly what the post message was that was driving this behavior. Um, I do want to know the lifetime post viral reach. So I'll get go ahead and add that here. And again, I want to tell Tableau to make that discrete. Um, and then um, maybe I want to look at the exact hour it was posted a little bit separately. So um, I'll put that piece of information over here. And again, tell Tableau, I just want to see the number. So now we have a little bit of time information here. Um, and then I, I kind of want to know what type of post it was. Was it a photo? Was it a link? Was it just a text status update? So that information's here in type, and I'm going to drag it over to color. And then we can kind of see over here uh, what what kind of post it was. We can see that real quick real, real quick and real visual. Um, I'm going to make those boxes a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this sheet. I'll call it post detail. And now what I want to do is link these two sheets together into an interactive dashboard that I can explore. So I'll create a new dashboard here. I'm going to drag my timeline onto the top of it and the post detail beneath it. Um, it looks like we actually have a little bit of extra space here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. We can make this row a little bit smaller. That looks a little bit better. So I want to be able to use this timeline here as a filter for the detail below. I can do that really easily. I'm just going to click on it and tell Tableau to use it as a filter. And now all of a sudden, if I click on this point up here, it tells me exactly which post did so well. Uh, it was a post about the sexiest job of the 21st century. So there's a lesson for you. And we, we can see the posts up maybe here that had a lot of engaged users, but not a lot of viral reach. Um, so that gives me a lot of insight into how my different posts are performing. Um, now let's say I only want to see this data for certain types of posts. Like maybe I only want to see uh, what the timeline looks like for photos. So I'm going to come down here and create a quick filter on type, which is just this quick little widget that allows me to filter out certain types of data. I think they're prettier when you do them as a drop down. Um, and I can tell Tableau, uh, maybe I only want to look at photos and status updates. And I want to make sure it filters the timeline too. So I'll tell Tableau to apply this filter to every worksheet using this data source. Um, so now we're only looking at a timeline for photos and status updates. And then I can add links in there and see what that timeline looks like. And we'll bring it back again to all. So we're looking at all our data now. Um, there's just one thing I want to change about this. Uh, Tableau has assigned blue as the color for link over here, but it's also the color I've used in my timeline um, and that can be a little bit confusing so I'm just going to go back over to my timeline worksheet uh, have it do that in maybe a nice purple so that there's a clear distinction there between colors and we're using visual best practices so that looks really good um, one thing I might want to do with this dashboard as a whole is uh, give it a title so let me rename this dashboard to uh, Facebook engagement timeline and I will tell Tableau to show that title and voila we have an interactive dashboard that allows us to explore how different types of posts did on different dates both in terms of engagement and viral reach and that took just a few minutes start to finish so again, this is a fantastic tool and a fantastic process to dig really deeply into your Facebook data. It's a tool I wish I'd had my whole career. 
Um, highly recommend you check it out. You can get a free trial at tableausoftware.com, and there's tons of free training available there too.